Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dave, Renegade Gig Hustler, back for another day of gig hustling, doing Uber Eats, scheduled to go on DoorDash here at 1130. I had a real good day yesterday on Uber Eats. I uh, had a lot of trips, had a, had a whole bunch of trips, probably did like 10 trips, uh, and then uh, there was a little break in the action between a couple of those trips. Well, I was coming back up the highway and I turned on my DoorDash just to see what was going on and it said dash now. So I dashed by, let me see here, I dashed by time and it was telling me 1625 by active hour. Well, it was only letting me on there for 45 minutes. As soon as I turned it on, guys, I got two trips. I went and picked them up. Uh, I had a Five Guys, and I had a Taco Bell, which are very close together. And uh, I picked him up, took one right down the highway here to Coles, dropped another one off probably about three miles over from there, ended up with $20.85, something like that and uh, then it kicked me off the app but then it was saying you know dash now so uh, by that point I had another Uber Eats trip and then I had another Uber Eats trip so uh, anyhow did it till about 4 yesterday from about 10.30 yesterday morning until about 4 in the afternoon so I had a pretty good day uh, on that and uh, so we're into a new week here, looking for a really, really good day here on Uber Eats, scheduled to go on DoorDash at 11.30. Uh, I don't usually do the earn by time, but I believe that I will go back on there and do earn by time. Uh, haven't had nothing come through as of yet. How's everybody doing? Hope you all had a great weekend and hope that uh, the ones working in the gig economy are staying real busy. Getting an Uber Eats now for $5.02, going seven miles, so we're just not going to take that. It's our first trip that came in today since I turned the app on. And I'm going to focus on getting another one here for $6.57 for uh, nine miles. So I'm going to focus on uh, just staying consistently busy today between Uber Eats and DoorDash and getting it done, guys, and really putting something solid and consistent together, making a chunk of money and uh, calling it a day. That's how we do it, one trip at a time, two trips at a time. So, yeah, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this week uh, I'm hoping to get videos up on a regular basis. I'm, going to get, I'm hoping to get something up as soon as I get home today on my YouTube channel got everything figured out, got everything upgraded on my laptop, got new memory in my laptop, it's a new laptop, and uh, just wasn't, I bought it because of the upgradability, and so my Acer Aspire 5 with the i5 in it, and uh, now I've got real uh, max memory in it, and uh, I upgraded the NVMe.2 from a 500 gigabyte to a 2 terabyte, and I also added an HDD 1 terabyte. So I have plenty of space now for all my files. As you all know, I'm a content creator, and uh, I just have a need for a lot of files and a lot of everything to do my videos. Uh, working with uh, PowerDirector 21 Ultimate, 21.5 Ultimate, it's updated now, but uh, so I have a lot to do on that. Uh, got me one now for $9.10. Uh, never mind, it's going too far for that amount, and uh, I know we're going to get a trip here soon, and we'll roll with it. But anyhow, getting back to being the content creator, uh, got everything straightened out that way, and um, looking to get videos up probably Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, sometime this week, guys, I'll be doing a live uh, possibly Wednesday I'll be doing a live you'll get notified if you're subscribed to my channel and hey if you're new to my channel and you uh, like my content consider subscribing hit that like button and while you're at it hit the alert bell for any new videos I do uh, 
So yesterday was, like I said, pretty good day. Saturday I came out for a little bit and uh, I decided not to do it on Saturday. It was torrentially raining. It was pouring down at times. Uh, the construction was shifting over here. The traffic was building. And uh, I just wasn't feeling it Saturday. And I'm glad that I got out of it Saturday and went back home. I had other things to do. So um, straightened some other things out on my laptop and did, a, did some other things. And uh, so I'm looking to be consistently busy today on Uber Eats and DoorDash and just really get it done. Uh, we will try to get back on Walmart Spark this week and do some Walmart Spark. And um, got my dash cam here. Uh, my tow guard CE66A. Um, if you never saw the review on my tow guard dash cam uh, earlier on, I don't know, it was sometime last year, I did a video. Uh, it might have been even, yeah, it was earlier last year. If you go back in my videos, you'll be able to see a review on the tow guard six C CE 66 a uh, I'll be firing that up uh, it's got twin cameras on it one that faces me and uh, and then one that faces out I do have a one for the backup but I don't usually utilize it and uh, it's not hooked up and really all I'm worried about is the one that's facing out and the one that's facing into me so um, so yeah I'm gonna get that hooked up I may relocate my mount here because where I have it my dash cam slips off of it sometimes it has this piece that sometimes where my dash cam slips in and as you can see it sometimes my dash cam flies out on it but sometimes it's because of the tilt so uh, I'm going to maybe relocate that and um, we're going to try it right here see if that does any better uh, I got my cord here for my charger going down to my charger this is for the dash cam and I'm um, going to get that set up and um, making this on the body cam right now so I uh, got my dash cam relocated over there so right where my rear view mirror is uh, I've got a it's, since it's a Jeep it's got a big piece here and there's a lot of everything in there that controls the uh, windshield assisted wipers for when it's raining I have windshield wiper uh, assisted wipers that when raindrops start hitting the windshield the wipers automatically turn on and um, there's probably some other things in there I don't know but has the Jeep logos on the side and uh, my rear view mirror runs under that and I would like to put it right under that black piece but uh, I can't get nothing to stay on that and even the I have another mount and the automotive grade tape won't even adhere to that properly so but anyhow guys uh, yeah so I'm looking to probably do videos up on my channel here look for them uh, Monday Wednesday Friday this week at least Monday and Wednesday and um, I'm trying to get back to a normalcy where I have certain days that you guys know to expect my videos and so let's say this week we're going to do Monday and Wednesday at least and possibly Friday and at least by Wednesday too I'm hoping to do Wednesday or Thursday I'm hoping to do a live uh, we'll be doing a live Q&A uh, live Q&A didn't work out last time because they didn't have enough people in there but um, so I'm letting you know that now that I'm going to be doing a QA. and a and what is a Q&A you ask well you will come into a chat box and if I'm specified to go on my live video at four o'clock you'll go into a chat box and you'll sit there and wait for me at four o'clock boom I'll go on and um, getting another crappy trip here and uh, you'll as soon as I come on you'll all just uh, I'll start talking to you and you'll be able to type and chat with me about anything remember that a live Q&A is motivational upbeat and positive at all times anybody doing anything 
not right in there will be tossed out and blocked so that's the ground rules not hard to follow guys so thanks for being with me thanks for sticking with me and uh, we're gonna get to a, a, a normal pattern now of posting videos and uh, doing a lot of interesting topics and uh, the last topic that I spoke about here was the fact that soon in certain market areas DoorDash has started this hot streak where you get on a streak and as you stay on this streak it consistently pays you more it's not in my market area yet so I can't really talk about it all I can say at this point is that maybe that is a way for DoorDash to lure everybody in to do all the crap trips that nobody's accepting to begin with so that's what I see and um, of course you know I'll have to try it in order to talk about it so stay with me on that and as soon as it gets in my market area I will update you on it and uh, we will see what that's all about but Uber Eats is apparently now uh, when customers order it is letting them know that uh, urging the customer to tip and once the customer tips they can't take it away they can add more to it but they can't take the tip away so that's what's going on with Uber Eats and I think that's a good thing and uh, I think that's the way it should be on DoorDash on all the apps uh, we as drivers are bringing a service we as drivers are bringing convenience and when we go to bring you your food we're beating our vehicles up and we're driving through all kinds of weather and we're going through a lot to try to bring you the convenience of a food delivery or of a shop and pay and uh, whatever it might be a prescription uh, personal items so Uber Eats has started that now and saying that you can't take the tip away but you can add more to it and I think that's a great thing and I think DoorDash needs to get on board with it so uh, kudos to Uber Eats for finally initiating that and um, so we're gonna see what goes on today guys and uh, I'm gonna try and get a get a trip here soon and snag a trip and got the dash cam hooked up and as soon as I get a trip we'll get ready to roll and um, put something together uh, scheduled to go on DoorDash now so I'm gonna go on there right this minute and now I'm on DoorDash too so I'm multi apping and uh, probably in the next day or two we'll even get uh, Walmart Spark going because we have Sam's Club right across the highway and only 13 minutes away is Walmart so uh, I like to pick up the packages and uh, as we get towards Christmas there will be a lot to pick up that way and a lot of money to be made the only thing I'm going to have to contend with is we have construction on the whole length of 22 and they've been moving it up and uh, it gets a little hectic at times and with Christmas coming around the corner things are going to really build up out here in my area where I work because it's a very busy area to begin with yesterday was very nice getting around I must say and uh, I didn't really have any difficulties went down through the construction just fine a little bit of traffic here and there but nothing uh, too major and um, we we got it done all day guys so I was pretty pleased with the day yesterday other than that I hope you guys all have a great day and if you're working in the gig economy uh, hope you're busy with whatever you're doing no matter what stay safe and uh, look for those videos from me this week on my YouTube channel and until I grab a trip and see you in a bit off my dash cam here you guys all take care what's up guys sitting in my hot spot here for a little bit now I uh, had got a head Uber Eats running I uh, was scheduled to go on DoorDash 1130 got that running now too so now we're multi app and had a real good day yesterday on Uber Eats and have even had uh, a moment there where I went over to DoorDash to try to get on and uh, it was only letting me on there for like about 40-45 minutes 
And right off the bat, I got two trips. I was doing earn by time and uh, made over $20 on two orders. So I was pretty pleased with that. Uh, in conjunction with all the trips I had on Uber Eats, it was a really good day. So looking to put something solid and consistent together today. It's Monday and uh, getting one on Uber Eats for 6.69, going eight miles. Uh, we're going to be patient for a little bit longer and see uh, if we can get a better trip and we're going to roll with it. But as soon as I do, I'll bring you with me. Stay with me. Okay guys, got my first trip on Uber Eats for uh, like 6.57. It's only going 2.3 miles so we're going to go right over here to McDonald's and pick it up. We're only taking it right up the road so not bad to get out of the hot spot and at least get going with a trip and hope that by the time we drop that off we got a couple more at least another one or a couple more just picking up right here at the mcdonald's at the mickey d's turn left then pick up on the left. Yes, I got an Uber Eats pickup. Seven. Okay, hold on one second. Let me get to that. All right. Hold on. I'm sorry. Just let me get to the. Um... All right. Get the order. All right. Go ahead. I'm ready. Seven F F four zero. Got it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You can pull up the second window. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. Okay guys, we got the pickup from the Mickey D's and we're heading up now to take it just up the road and then down below here off of Old William Penn Highway and we're going to drop that off. I was getting a DoorDash as I was trying to get out on the highway and uh, of course we didn't get that one but we'll see if we can get the next one and whatever other Uber Eats and just roll with it and uh, see how that goes. So we got. Head to your drop off at 715 Billberry Road. Uh, taking it over to Billberry. I believe it's a uh, preschool or something, kid school, uh, elementary type school. I deliver to this girl a lot. Get her a lot on the lunchtime. So. I have a lot of repeat customers, have a lot of customers I deliver to regularly, and uh, which is fine with me, and it's really fine with the customers because they know who I am and what I do, and they're always happy that they get me, and I have customers that even say they wish they could request me, so uh, that's always a nice compliment, and I uh, appreciate it. Coming up 22, past where they moved some of the construction up. The bulk of it's further back, but pretty soon it's all going to be getting up this way. And so just heading up to do this here now. Road. Be nice if we could get a little brighter today. It's very overcast. 7. Saturday was just a washout, guys. I mean, torrential rains picking up and more torrential and all day long. Yesterday, it started out cloudy and then we got sun and then we had clouds and sun and clouds and sun. 
so it was doable and today's a little more gloomy so like it when it's a lot more brighter and uh, makes everything uh, a lot better doing doing this So let me know what app you're working off of. Are you doing Uber Eats? Are you doing DoorDash? Are you doing both? Are you doing Instacart? Are you doing Grubhub? Are you doing Walmart Spark? What are you doing? Please leave it in the comments for me. Let me know what market area are you in? How are things going where you're at? Please let me know. Please comment. And uh, I'd like to hear. I'd like to know. To bring this one down just a little over a mile. In a quarter mile, turn left on Old William Penn Highway. I come down to the bottom and make a left. on Old William Penn Highway. Turn left on Old William Penn Highway. Went down to Laurel Drive here. We'll be turning off. Turn right this is a regular drive. customer that I do and uh, been delivering to her at the school for her. She generally orders McDonald's or there's another restaurant or two, but um, most like most normally uh, she, she does McDonald's, which Turn right on doesn't drive. matter to me. I mean, I'm delivering anyhow, so uh, I'm going to come up around Laurel Drive and merge on to Garden City Drive and cross over to the, do the drop off. So far my dash cam seems to be doing right good in that spot. I, I had it there to begin with but I shifted it around a couple of times to get the right location and In a quarter mile turn right. I'm going to be cutting across and getting ready to drop this off. We get Head here on Uber Eats and DoorDash. I'm hoping as soon as I drop this off that I get a stacked order and a double order or something on Uber Eats. On and Uber right. Eats and DoorDash something. And we keep on moving with it. That's how we do it, guys. So I'm going to take this in.
Okay guys, mission completed on the first one there. And we're going to see what else we get. Fairly easy one. Which a lot of mine in the local area here in Monrovia are. Uh, I deliver all over, not Turn just right. here in Monroeville. I delivered all the surrounding towns, and we're surrounded by all kinds of other towns, so that's what keeps me doing what I do. Coming back down around, Turn and left on uh, Drive. so coming back out. Going to merge back onto uh, Garden City Drive and get something else going here, guys. That's my goal. That's what I'm trying to do here. Crappy one here now. Okay, guys, we got ourselves a DoorDash. Hey, how you doing? Have a good day. Take the next right onto Mall Boulevard, Mall Plaza Boulevard. So we are we're saying hello to a guy that works at the TGIF. We're going to head up 22 over to the Outback. And I am on active time. So I'm getting paid for the hour. And it's our first trip on that. So. Take the next right onto US 22 Business East. Gonna head up to the outback and then on over down past North for Sales to White Oak and continue on US 22 Business East for one and a half miles. So got ourselves a pretty good trip, a little further trip, but that's all right because we could get anything else along the way. On Uber Eats or possibly DoorDash, we could get a good one on the way. A couple even, really. So, guys got the uh, Uber Eats or the uh, DoorDash I'm gonna take this over head southeast 19 minutes 9.1 mile in 300 feet slight right toward Holiday Lane take the next right toward Holiday Lane then turn right onto Holiday Lane So now we're getting an Uber Eats for Chipotle. And it's going right out much further. Then turn left onto Mossside Boulevard. Take the next left onto Mossside Boulevard. So we're going to take this over to White Oak which is out past North for Sales. We get over there pretty quickly going up this way. And uh, do this drop off, see what we get on the way, on the way back, and just keep going with it.
Okay guys, we're at oh, about 1.8 miles away from our drop off and I'm hoping that by the time I drop this off that I've got something else on Uber Eats or uh, DoorDash uh, at least after we drop off and uh, we can go right to and get I gotta come back up through White Oak and hit North for sales and uh, see what else we can possibly get. Getting the uh, Uber Eats on here now, but it's going like 15 miles. So we're gonna pass on that. Continue on to our drop off. about one mile. I'm going to come up to the light here and we got like three more lights to get through and then we're going to be turning off to do our drop off. possible we get one down here but we got to come back we're going to come back up the other way and hit north for sales and then when we go down over the hill, we'll head back into Monroeville. This was just the best way to come for this trip. We're going to hit our second light right here. And then right up the way is the third light. And we're going to be turning off to the right. And on Cold Springs Road to do this drop off. So leave any comments down below guys. Let me know what's on your mind. Let me know what's going on with you. I'm going to get over here. Because once I hit this next light be turning off to the right. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Cool Springs Road. Take the next right onto Cool Springs Road, then turn left onto Royal Oak Drive. Next left onto Royal Oak Drive. In 600 feet, your destination will be on the left. Destination is on the left. All right. The customer requested you hand them the order. They added the following instruction. Should be right. Hand it to me. Here. Yes, it is. So. 
Time for the drop off, guys. Okay, guys, we got ourselves. I got down into Wilmington, right below Monroeville. We got one for TGIFs. It doesn't appear to be going real far. 5.8 miles, I think, total. Uh, it's paying $9.82. So, heading back. Uh, TGIFs is just right over from where my hot spot is from this morning. And, uh,. We're going to pick that up and get that one out to the customer. So at least we got another trip to get to. It's just a very slow Monday. Uh, just not a lot happening. So. Heading over there to get this now. Turn right on Monroeville Road. So we'll see here. Could be later part of this afternoon before the lunch rush shows over that it really picks up and clicks or don't, but I'm hoping it does. And turn right on Monroeville Road. Okay, getting one on DoorDash now too, so, um, let's see, Center Avenue. Trying to see where it's at. Five point one mile. Now, regardless, we're going up here now and get this, uh, get this Uber Eats. Getting another one on DoorDash. <laughs> For Ocean Treasures. Turn left. Gonna get over there and pick up this TGIF. Turn, right. 
and pull in the courtesy curbside to go. Turn right, then pick up on the right. Just ahead, turn turn left on Mall Boulevard. Yeah, yeah. Turn left, then turn right. Turn left on Oxford Drive. Turn left on Monroeville Boulevard. Turn left on Monroeville Boulevard. I will need your four digit pin too. turn right on Caruso Drive. Yeah, basically it is. It's just we're going to go get that. Right on Caruso Drive. Turn left on Virgin Street.
Six three four. Okay, we dropped that off. Now I think we're back on pay by the trip instead of the hourly rate because they sent me in two crappy trips that way when I was trying to get to Super Eats and it knocked me off so I had no choice uh, the other pickups were in a complete opposite way and uh, that would have really thrown me off and out of whack so I'm coming back down around we'll see what else we get here hopefully as I head up Monroe Boulevard here, we this picks up here, or it's going to be an early day because no sense of being out here if I can't stay busy here with this today, guys. So you know how it is if you're doing this. You got days like I had yesterday, and it was non-stop. Last Monday was pretty dang good. I had uh, slews of trips, but. We're already uh, over two hours, two hours in, and uh, got three trips now. So Okay guys, I was on my way up here to Sheets to make a pit stop, and I got a trip for Uber Eats right over here at the Taco Bell, so we're going to zip right across the highway when we get through and grab this Taco Bell. It's going down to the mall on Mall Boulevard, and uh, we're going to pick that up. So we're going to zip right across here, and... We're going to grab this. I had to make a pit stop first. So. Turn right, then turn right. In other words.
Okay. So we're gonna, I was in here quite a few times yesterday. It looks like we're getting a DoorDash for TGIFs. So we're gonna take this over to the hotel at the mall. Turn right. Turn left on Duff Road. Turn right on William Penn Highway. So we got the pickup, taking us down to the Double Tree at Hilton at the mall, and we're going to drop this off. It's paying pretty good, ten dollars and I think sixty some cents. Going to head straight down this way. Uh, maybe not. We'll go up this way. left on Monroe Street. come back down around Oxford Drive and uh, do the drop off in a quarter mile okay guys delivered that Taco Bell to the hotel and while I was coming down on the elevator got another one for uh, Dunkin so gonna run over there and grab that one at Dunkin Donuts which is up on the other end of the highway through the construction so turn right on Ball Boulevard get over there okay so I'm heading over there now to grab that Turn right on ball circle drive 10 minutes to 2 to your pickup at Bob Evans. Head to your pickup. Turn left. Turn left on Penn Center Boulevard, then turn right on William Penn Highway. Now I picked up the uh, the Dunkin' Donuts guys, and while I was in there, and I got a 
or uh, when I I dropped off that Taco Bell at the hotel and then I got the Dunkin Donuts and it will also had it was a stacked order actually and now I'm going up to the Bob Evans and pick up up there uh, she's obviously it's going to the same customer so it's for the same customer as the Dunkin so uh, so both drop-offs are going to be for the same address, which is great. So it turned around a little bit, uh, as far as that goes. I mean, not exceptionally great, but a lot better than it was. And we're still driving and moving, making money, and it is uh, about 10 minutes to 2 nine minutes to two and uh, lunch rush will be over soon I mean it wasn't much of a lunch rush but at least it's picking up a little more here as we head to the end of that and uh, hopefully we can keep driving into the dinner uh, if uh, it stays busy then we will so sometimes it's like that sometimes you go through to lunch it's not too busy at all and then boom go however guys uh, so you know know that doing this and uh, come up here and get here so that so we're gonna head over to the Bob Evans and pick that up and For what? <laughs> when? When is it? Huh. Sure. Okay, guys, now I have both of Beverly's. Uh, Turn right on William Penn Highway. We're not going left on Lewis real Drive. far. It's a decent little trip. And i um, going to cut across into the mall right here. Turn right on Mall Boulevard. We're going to let her know we're on our way. Just ahead, turn left on Oxford Drive. Turn left on Oxford Drive. So stay with me for the drop off. In a quarter mile turn. Okay, guys, it's been. Uh, after this last drop off, I had that I had that double pickup, and uh, I dropped that off over in Pitcairn, and I uh, just been sitting here in my hot spot. DoorDash is really not doing much. Uh, Uber Eats has a few crap trips every now and then. I'm probably going to end my day here soon. Uh, just been one of them Mondays, but I did have six trips on Uber Eats, one on DoorDash, and. Uh, Probably go home soon so I can do some other things and um, be back at this tomorrow.
Yeah, DoorDash. I was on there uh, by time or by by the hour, and then I had those two Uber Eats, and so DoorDash knocked me off because I wasn't able to get those because they were up in the other direction, would have taken me right out of the way. And uh, certain multi app when you're multi app, and certain ones will work out just fine because they're in the general area where you can pick them up. But I would have had to go all the way back down through the construction and all the way up on the other side to get those. It would have thrown me out of my time for my Uber Eats drop-offs. And uh, so, let me back on there by time. And uh, there's just not much going on on there, guys. It's not even really showing busy or anything, so... Anyhow, I hope all you guys are doing good out there, and uh, I'm going to try maybe to work on some videos when I get home for the YouTube channel, and uh, look for those, and I'll, I'll be back tomorrow, Tuesday, getting a crappy trip here on Uber Eats. That's uh, not going to work out, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, you guys take care.